Hello and welcome back to Neopets, the darkest Ferrari, for fairy furry, the darkest something. In the last episode, we got this beauty, and also accidentally turned in the package. But before we can join the guards, we need to enter the arena battles and get ourselves a decent shield. I could have just bought a shield and skipped the arenas altogether. However, what's the fun in that? We also bought, bought a bunch of maps, but they're not as important oh. yet. In the arena, the winners get the rich and the losers go to the hospital. Today's prize, a battle shield. Excellent. Let's begin. You look like you've got some muscle. Care to give the arena a try? What's the worst that can happen? Well, you just told us we go to the hospital. Mm. All right. Here's how it works. The first to knock out the other wins. Ah. No food, no potion, no restoratives. It's just brawn against brawn. You ready? Let's go. Okay, you know what would be really bad? Is if, if I fail this, I have to buy it. In this corner, paying off his debt to society, Trump the Highwayman. And in the opposite corner, the fierce country boy with a heart tour. Hmm. I was gonna say, why would this guy even be in this battle? So his... Debt to society, what? What? And the winner is Trump the Highwayman. What? What happened there? Good try for a novice. You do better next. All right, let's try that again. Hmm. Oh, they said something different. Something about good not being a quitter. I wonder if there's a way I can block then. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get any further. In this corner, paying off a debt. Yeah, yes, yes. In the other corner, farmer with a heart. Cool. Yeah. I must have just been already low on health, and that's why I died so quick. And the winner is Tor. Because there's no way that he was that much easier. Good fight. Here's your fancy deluxe shield, kid. Use it in good health. Uh -huh. Oh, it was just a wooden shield anyways. Hey, come back. Anytime. You get the makings of a real fighter in you. Oh, cool. I actually got the shield. Sorry, I sneezed there. Would you like to go up against our latest contestant? Mm. That weird circle square. Good. Good to have you back. Remember, the only a knockout wins. No restoratives of any kind. Let's get this started. Let's see how far I can take this. And let's see what the prizes are, because I want to get rich quick. Look at this guy. Here I am with my exile from his people for being too nice. The rough and tumble, if toll, the ixy. And facing him, the Dark Horse Challenger from Mary Acres, Tor. I didn't really get that one. 
Ow. You're not gonna get that luxury again. Ow. Okay, maybe you did get that luxury. Oh, they looked like he died. And the winner is Tor. Woo, yeah. Sheesh. Woohoo. I think I'm supposed to use a shield. I might have a shield now. You're sharpening up to be a good contestant. Here's your prize, kid. Oh, I knew it was going to be a good idea to come in here. Would you like to go up against our latest contestant? Hmm. Yeah, sure. You're getting to be an old pro with this. Remember, no restoratives and only knockouts win. Now, if I knew how to block, that would be great. Beautiful. The final boss from... What, whatever that game was. A more vile bucket of ooze you will never meet. It's Meridale's very own wicked sludge of the north. And stepping up against it, the rising star of Merry Acres, Tor. Hooray. Oh, so that's how I shield. How did you get behind me? Ow. Oh, you got me so good on that one. <laughs> oh, that was great. A round of applause for our pal, Sludgy. Let's try that one again. Hmm. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> I'll give it one more honest attempt. Don't give up hope. Just heal up and get right back in there. Oh, I don't give up hope. I just recruit. So let's go with light, water, and sure, why not? Shield. No. There we go. Hmm. So let's see if this one works a little. Bit of animals barking outside, so hopefully that's not too annoying. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. No, 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 no. Ow! That's not even fair. Ah! What? That was the best I could do, too. <laughs> A round of applause for our pal, Sludgy. Alright, I gave it my best honest attempt come on kid I will come back one day but that day is not today instead I'm gonna run because now that I got my shield my beautiful beautiful wooden shield I'm gonna go run all the way to the recruitment center Let's see. I was kind of figuring Sludgy was like way too hard. So eventually I'll get upgrades and I'll come back then. But we did get a free 500 gold, so. Yip yip hooray. Not this one. Is it the next one? I think it's the next one. Yeah, that looks pretty familiar. Fancy and important. So let's head on in. And join the army. All right, next. Sir, I have a shield. Hmm. I can see that. 
sword and shield. You're trying to be a squire. Um, yeah, we just talked. You should be more confident in your answer, boy. I'll just need to see your sponsorship papers and we'll be set. <laughs> sponsorship papers? <laughs> of course. Sponsorship papers? You'll need a knight to sponsor you and become a squire. I don't know any knights. Yes, you do. Talk to Master Torak, the man at arms. He sometimes takes in strayers. He's down at the tavern, but I warn you, he's been in a foul mood all day. Don't know why. Just get him to sign these and you'll be set. I know why. And we'll be able to fix this problem lickety split. Again with you. I don't trust you. Get out of here. You must be related to that one shady map seller. Which, by the way, I still haven't tested out his maps yet. Where's the tavern? The village armory. Nice. I looked all around. I didn't see no tavern. I'll never know. Oh, you know what? There we go. Now if I go there, which looks like it's not quite across the bridge, which I guess makes sense of why I wouldn't have saw it, because I don't think I actually checked any of these two buildings. And I guess that would be a good reason why, because their doors aren't in the front. And I can't go around there. Oh well. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's like a whole little section back here I missed. Okay. Well, it looks like the drive-thru for McDonald's is closed. So let's head over in this direction. Weird, this building has like a special path to it, and it's just closed off to you. This is going to be the cavern. Carpenter's Arms Tavern. Yeah. So let me just look over here real quick. And that would ex also explain it, because those buildings are useless. Got it. Let's head into the tavern. Nice. I'm guessing that's him. So let's just look around real quick. Need something, kid? What's wrong with that knight over there? You mean Master Torak? Don't you? Have a rough day, he has. Lost his closest friend today. His sword. Close as I can tell. He broke it down near the castle drawbridge. I bet you the guards at the drawbridge saw the whole thing. You may want to talk to them. Already did. I even gathered his sword already. Hey, look. I think we're even wearing... Well, never mind. We're not even close. Dumpus. Think we can get more food, Tina? You must be Tina. Oh. Master Tornak is so sad today. That's not what everyone else is saying. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, Tina. Where's my drink? Shady. Keeps on creeping up behind me. And now rude. Yikes. Ugh, excuse me, sir. Stupidest thing I could have done, breaking my sword against that wall. I, I would like to talk to you about sponsoring me for... I can't even find enough of my sword to reforge it. Leave me be, boy. I've had a bad enough day. Why would I specifically get this guy? Why this one? I had that sword with me for ages. Oh, I had that sword with me for ages. Now to see it shattered while apprehending a common thief. Alright, so... I mean, I kind of knew what to do from the beginning, but I kind of figured that talking to him would have triggered something like, oh, hey, go to the blacksmith. But no, it looks like I just need to go to the blacksmith. 
All right, so which one are you? Smithy. Obvious choice for blacksmiths, right? Sorry, I'm too busy making Squire. Excuse me, I was wondering if you can reforge swords. Well, of course I can, but I'm way too busy with all the orders for the Squire swords. Oh, I was hoping you could reforge Master Toric sword, but... Our master at Arms sword? That sword is a legendary, a true masterwork. I would do anything to get a chance at that. You bring that, me that sword and I'll reforge it to you, no charge. Well, thank you, because I only have like 700 bucks. Oh, you're just missing one uh, piece. Find it and the sword will be complete. I thought I was being so diligent. I wonder if it has something to do with talking to the guard. Huh? What's up, kid? Did you hear about Master Torek's sword? Hear about it? I was there when it shattered. Master Torek had been chasing this thief named Tark. He finally caught up to the thief right at the repair scaffolding around the corner. For a few minutes, they were swinging blade, dodging and parrying. Then Master Torek lashed out with his sword. There was this huge crash and a sword at the wall. The blade shattered and must have been three pieces. Powerful blows that it was. Saw shards of the sword fly up as high as the rooftops. Wait, I did get all. What? I got three pieces. One, two, three. Yeah, that's weird. Why? What did it say I was missing a piece? It's got two giant axes above it. Yes, I already talked to you. You're just missing one piece. Find it. What? Thief was apprehended. I'm sure it'll be the recruitment center jail for a long time. Just a piece of curse luck. That's what it was. And now my sword is gone forever. So I wonder if. I, I think I got an idea. Seriously? Now you're holding me up? Oh my goodness. Yeah. I know, I'm thinking the same thing. Recruitment... Why is the recruitment center in the same place as the jail? This has all been just one giant circle. Made into many different circles because... I got lost as to what to do. Because it didn't make any sense. Alright. And this guy again. The green one, I'd trust the least. Hmm. Don't get too close to the prisoner. Ah, right, here we go. Hmm. I don't know you, kid. What do you want? I wanted to talk to you about the man at arm sword. <laughs> what? You with the local papers? Nah, you're too young. Well, what do you want to know? Hmm. When the sword shattered, where did all those pieces go? I might know a little bit about one of the pieces, <laughs> but you want to know more? It'll cost you. And I only take cash. Mm. I'm giving you a real deal on this, boy. Only a hundred P and the sword bin is yours. No. <laughs> what about your sword? Hand over the sword and I'll give you what you need. No. <laughs> no deal, no info. That's the way it works, kid. <laughs> well, I was hoping there'd be a way to just get it for free, but that's okay. Hey, hey, you're not such a bad kid. Here's a broken up sword hilt. <laughs> Easiest hundred I ever made. Wow. <laughs> if that's the easiest you ever made, 
literally breaking a sword and going to jail for it. I mean, you better off just learning how to be a swordsman and going in the arena. I made 500 easier than that. But that's okay. Because now, I'm going to run back. So the front guard kind of had a piece of misinformation. Ended up getting me caught up for a way too long of time. And the fact that I can have a, I'm having a hard time understanding these doors. I am literally been in here three times talking to you. You should have me memorized by now. This is incredible, a challenge worth my time. I have the completed blade for you in no time. Let's see here, a little more heat for the anvil. A few strokes with the hammer, that's about it. What a masterpiece of a weapon. Here you are, son, good as new. Thank you for the honor of working on such a beautiful blade. I want to see this. No. I was kind of hoping I'd get a super powerful sword and then go back and beat up old Sludgy over there. But that's okay. Because now I can run over to the tavern. You again. Take a couple minutes. And my my sword. How did you do this, boy? I found the shards and the hilt, sir. And Rognes the Smithy reforged it. It looks good as new. How can I repay you for this noble yeah. deed? I only wanted to be a squire, sir. Well then, boy, I will assuredly sponsor you. Thank you. Here's your sponsorship papers, boy. You can take them to the officer, Kendrick. He'll know who I am. When you become a true squire, I'll be waiting for you in the castle. Well, thank you. I'm glad to see that didn't improve your mood much. <laughs> You've certainly helped Master Torex spirits. Yes, I did. Good for you, kid. You'll make a great squire. Thank you. <laughs> nice job, boy. It was a right shame watching Master Torek cry into his drink. Well, I'm glad I was able to stop that. Let's see if this guy's complaining about his drink steal. Good show, reforging that sword and all. No? Okay. Maybe I was wrong about you, Bert. Wait, 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 wait. Get out. Jump into nothingness and. Whoop. Oh, I can almost clear the little bat thing. Not gonna clear the goblin, however. Too bad I didn't roll like when I was running. That would be worth it. Pass by the shield place. Passed by Draco something bridge. Don't even know what that is. And I don't know what how that person came out of it. But that's okay. Let's head in. And talk to... What's his name? Officer Kendrick. Oh, it's you. Got the signed spon sponsorship paper? Hmm. Good. Where's the rest? <laughs> that's all I got. You don't have your letter of consent. Ooh. No. Boy, you need a sword, a shield, a signed sponsorship paper, mm. and your letter of consent, signed by both your parents. Why would you need that? And why didn't you tell me this from the beginning? Because that one's going to honestly be the hardest mm. one to get of them all. Hmm. But I... No. Excuses. Get signed. No square hood for you. All right. The most difficult journey up ahead. But first, the following guidelines were put forth in order to streamline the process of applying for a squire position within Meridale's castle. First, make sure you only tell somebody one at a time, and only when they finish that first one do you give them the second requirement. So on and so forth by all four, for all four. To obtain a squire's position, the following requirements must be met before the candidate can be considered. Remember... Only tell them one at a time. 
one sword when they show that, one shield when they get that, one sponsorship paper signed by an already knight, signed, and once they get that, then tell them they need their parents' permission, because we all know that no one's going to get that one. Both parents, by the way. I'm actually surprised he didn't tell me that after I got one parent to sign it. All right, let's see. read in more books. <clears throat> While trade flourished around such hubs as Market Town, darker forces worked at the edge of society. Brigands. That was pretty close to what I was saying. And highwaymen set their sights on the outlying providence, preying on the innocent villagers and simple farmers. No kidding. Good reader, what are you about to read is a true wonder. A complete list of the bravest souls to protect the land. Meridel has, long, has a long and complex history, with numerous adventures, quests, battles that, that shaped it. Through this book, you will learn of those that did noble deeds that defend Meridel. Hey, I didn't even get to read it. King Skarl is the present king in a long line of noble, kind, unassuming, genteel, and brave Skeeth rulers. He sure doesn't look that kind. For years, King Skarl has ruled the realm of Meridale with a grace and power unseen in lesser lands. It is expected, thanks to Skarl, that he will reign for many, many years more. All hail Great Skarl the First. I thought he was in the line. Why is he not like the 20th? Draconauts live up in their reputation as fierce predators. They are extremely territorial, foul-tempered pack hunters that can be found throughout Meridale and Bridgevale. They are especially numerous in the Draco Ridge steeps. Without strict regulations, their numbers grow quick out, out of control. Hunters are often called upon to cull their numbers. Draconauts never stop growing as they age, so some older ones can reach truly monstrous sizes. Nice! It sounds like I'm going to get a boss battle. I cannot wait to get into a boss battle in this game. I want to see what it's like. Alright. That was a nice little jump there. Running back, running, 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 so glad I found running again. Running, running, jumping, running, jumping, running, running, jumping, running, and meeting up with... I guess we're not that close. He's wearing like decent clothes and I'm wearing rags. <laughs> Why am I in rags, by the way? Anyways, in this episode, we went ahead. Come on, come on. Perfect shot here. There we go. In this episode, we went ahead and made our way to the arena to obtain a shield to join the squire. And then we put together a sword that we ended up having to pay money for and all that so we can go ask parents permission to become a squire. In the next episode, we meet up with Mom and Pa. See you guys then.